come this morning to give you, uh, actually this uh, early afternoon, is to let you know it's going to be okay. Weeping may endure for a night, but joy comes in the morning. Yesterday, last night, I was, um, I was hearing a conversation. I was hearing a certain type of warfare, a certain type of language uh, from, from some of you who will listen to me now. And the conversation, your conversation, if I could um, speak to you, it's like your memory has become your thorn. Your memory is really, 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 really painful because in your memory, in your past, there's so much hurt, there's so much disappointment, there's so much pain. And because of that warfare or those words or those voices, you try to drown those things out. You try to drown those things out by making yourself busy because when you relax or when you're not busy, your mind drifts back to bad stuff, hurts and stuff like that. You're stuck in that, you're stuck in that particular um, train of thought. It's like you're trapped. Your mind is trapped. And see, but God's going to bring you out. God is bringing you out as I speak. Hear me. He's bringing you out. And, but what I want to say is that many of you also, your memory brings a lot of tears. You're crying. Even as I'm speaking, you're crying. When you think, it's like you have those pop-up moments. Those pop-up moments in your memory. Because some of you listen to me, you're still dealing with loss. You still hadn't got over a loss, whether the person has passed or gone away to be with the Lord or that person you broke up, a divorce. Something happened where in your mind, you, you, you torment your mind because you go back in your mind and you say, if I could get back to that moment and if I could have done this, if I could have said this, I would be going through what I was going through right now. And see, this is many of you, you're punishing your mind, you're tormenting your mind. You're tormenting your mind from a memory of what you could have done. You didn't do it, but that's okay. God's grace is there. You're here. It's a teaching moment. That moment has passed. And from that moment, allow that moment, those moments where you fail, those moments where people betrayed you or just, you had a bad day. You had a bad moment. You had a bad I guess chapter or, or or a certain season in your life. Count it all joy. Because the Bible, listen, the Bible says that the, the trials of this of this life that we go through, if we're compatient, there's a reward for the things that you go through. There is. This is why I, I um what's been coming stronger, one of the spirits that's been, been, been speaking louder and, and becoming stronger is the, is the spirit, the voices of suicide and depression because of the season that we're in, it's becoming even stronger and stronger. It's speaking and it's trying to control your every step. It's trying to control that these voices are trying to control your movements, your emotions. It's, it's, it's using your emotions to, to keep you bound, to keep you um, immobile, to keep you stuck in a certain place. You, it's like you're controlled because these emotions, these thoughts. And so because of that, you can't do this because this will happen. I can't do that because that will happen. And so fear has become God in your life. But God wants to remove that fear. He wants to remove that God. And as I'm speaking to you now, I speak to the spirit, not you, but the spirit that's upon you or that's racking your mind. Or that's trying to tell you things that God didn't say. I curse it. I curse the voices of suicide. This voice is a liar. You a liar. You a defeated foe. And I loose hooks in your jaws right now. The blood of Jesus against you. Loose your hole right now. The spirit of depression. You are alone. I speak against that spirit. Lift off of them right now. In the mighty name of Jesus. And as you go, God send peace in. God send understanding in. God strengthen them now. In Jesus' name we pray.
Amen. God bless you.